Well, it's been a good morning so far. I stopped by the ranger uh, cabin and the Ocean Light 2 is there. And Chris, the skipper, I've actually known him for about 20 years. And I had a little catch up with him, which was really nice. The other skipper is Tom. And I guess they switch out partway through the season. I then took off to uh, look for some grizzlies and I found a young male, probably like three years old, on the south shore in a really nice sunny spot and the water was dead calm and uh, then I enjoyed watching him for a while and the Coots Lodge came in and spotted me. That's what you do here, you look for other zodiacs that are close to shore with their cameras out because uh, if you see that, then there's probably something on shore. I carry my binoculars with me, so I kind of go up the middle, and I just scout each side as I go up, and I uh, left after a short time at the first bear sighting, and then I went a little further west uh, towards the exit of the inlet, and I spotted something that looked like uh, a bear on the north side, a little further up, so stopped there and uh, saw a nice larger grizzly. I couldn't tell for sure if it's a male or female, but uh, very big. And it was on the shore at first, and then not long after I got there, it went into the water. So that was kind of fun to watch uh, the grizzly in the water. Although I stayed a little further out <laughs> because I'm not sure how fast they can swim, but I didn't want to be too close. Uh, with the grizzly already in the water with me so that was fun and then it got a bit rough the wind picked up and as you can see the dinghy's rocking a bit so it's a little harder to film with the uh, waves and I thought I would head back towards the boat which is right at the very end of the inlet uh, right at the estuary and I'll just uh, watch the shores as I go back and I will see if there's any more bears uh, along the way. If there are, I'll stop and take some photos and try and get a little footage. And then I might go for some lunch. It's been a, a busy morning uh, catching up with old friends and watching grizzlies. Well, I made it back to the boat and it's still here, so that's always a good sign uh, when your boat is where you left it. That means the anchor is holding well. And I'm going to have some lunch, and uh, it's just about high tide, so the beaches are kind of uh, small now. So I think I'll uh, relax for a little bit and probably go out in a few hours and uh, see if I can find some more grizzlies. But uh, the wind has picked up right now, and I'm hungry, so I want to uh, have something to eat and uh, take a bit of a break and then go out later. No rush. That's what holidays are for, is to just relax and uh, maybe read a book or uh, have a nap. I can even do that. I'm really happy with the new stove that I never had plans to uh, upgrade, but you might remember a while back I uh, swapped out my old stove for this new uh, Dickinson Caribbean. It's a two burner and has an oven. It has that nice cutting board that inserts into the top and uh, one of the features that's such a simple little thing but it sure makes it nice is that auto light. I don't have to get the lighter out and hold it and light it. It just, you turn it on, it sparks and it lights up. And it's just such a little minor thing, but it does make uh, a difference, surprisingly, just in the enjoyment of using the stove.
Well, I decided to go out after dinner and see if I could find any more grizzlies, and there's one right behind me. It's a little rough out here, and I think he's in frame. But, uh, yeah, I got to see one more before the night is finished. But it'd be sure it'd be nice if this wind died down, then I could do some better footage of him. But uh, it's too windy and too rough. I can't really stop the engine too long because I get blown to shore right away. And I don't want to go to shore. There's a big male grizzly right there. I'll just flip the camera around. And I'll zoom in a bit. Make some adjustments. There he is, right on the beach. So, he's pretty close. I should probably start the engine again and get away from the shore. I don't want to disturb him and I don't want to be his dinner. I just can't hold the camera steady enough. So I might just do a few photos of him. Instead. Well, I made it back to the boat and I'm a little wetter now than I was when I left because there's a lot of wind around the corner and with the tide ebbing and the wind coming in, it's creating all these little standing waves. They're, they're not very big for this boat, but for the dinghy, they're substantial and I was getting a lot of spray over the front on the way out. So I didn't go out as far or down the inlet as far. Uh, towards the exit which is where I saw the other bears this morning because I just would have got too wet and I'm undecided if I'm going to leave tomorrow um, I could stay one more day I'll have to listen to the weather and see what uh, is happening for Monday because I have to work Tuesday and it will take me about eight or nine hours to get home so I might break it up and do part of the trip tomorrow and then part on Monday so it's not too, one long day, make it two shorter days. And even then I might go all, almost all the way to Rupert but I won't go right back to my marina even if I make it uh, to where I'm close. <laughs> 